Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're here in the F-22. We're fighting the Chinese J-35 and it's going to be kind of a little bit different here today. If he gets past me, there's a, a large cargo aircraft that I'm escorting and if I get past him, it's his AWACS that's at risk. So everyone's got to defend a little something here today. Now the aircraft is uh, looks remarkably similar to an F-35 with two engines um, and the one thing that I know about it, I've seen a picture of it up front, you can see that it has a HUD which indicates that it probably doesn't have the advanced sensor fusion of the F-35 with the helmet mounted sight and all that stuff. Um, so it's probably, I mean it, it's technically a fifth generation so it's claimed. We got him here on radar just outside of 40 miles I've picked them up here or sorry just inside of 40 miles uh, got him now at 32 miles got him locked up here we'll continue to push uh, he is shooting the Chinese PL-15 which is a very scary missile very long range very good uh, look at this he's locking me right now look at that it's like 24 miles he's locking me Fox 3 from me we'll defend I'm not entirely sure how stealth this thing is supposed to be. Um, I would struggle to say that it's got similar stealth to an F-22. It just doesn't strike me as having that. Um, especially when you look at the engines on the back there, it doesn't look like, it looks like it has some thermal uh, stealth going on there. Some IR stealth going on with the engine nozzles, but not radar, I don't, I don't think it's got that. Um, we are in a notch. Oh, missile still sees me. I thought the missile lost me there for a second as I pulled away. Remember, the stealth of the F-22 uh, should help defeat the seekers of the missiles, although the PL-15 is a tough nut to crack. You can see he's still locking onto me here, this PL-15. Every time you hear that whoop whoop sound, that's a, that's a missile coming in. Where is this thing? taking a really long time to get here which tells me it's probably slow but it is a little nerve-wracking listen it still sees me I'm gonna take a risk here let's recommit let's put the thrust in and we'll recommit here Okay, got him locked. A uh, missile just went by behind me there. Wow. Okay. Fox 3. And we'll defend again. And a lot of the capability of a fighter comes down to its, its uh, missiles, right? Doesn't matter how good your radar is and all this stuff. If you know you can get close to them, you're super stealth, you know. But your missiles are garbage. <laughs> you just shoot them all day; they never hit anything. You know, so you really need both. You need a great fighter and uh, great missiles to go with it. PL-15 still coming in.
Still waiting for that missile. It's quiet. Quiet is good. That means we probably defeated it. Go ahead and recommit here. He's near that island. He's hanging around there. Which I don't blame him. That's what I would do. I would try to terrain mask there. He's locking me again. Got him inside of 11 miles. Fox 3. Go cold here, uh, changing aspects, which will hopefully break the lock from his aircraft, uh, force his own missile to take over the uh, the track, and then when you can do that, you can fight the seeker on the missile instead of his radar and his aircraft. Uh, this is the nature of the Fox 3. When you break the lock with the the launch aircraft, it switches to its own radar, it goes pitbull essentially, and then you can fight that seeker, which is a little bit easier to defeat in my opinion. Okay, let's recommit here, shoot a missile at him, make him defend it, and then rush him. And get like well within range, so when he tries to recommit I can kill him. Right, here we go, got him on radar at 12 miles, Fox 3. And then we'll do a quick little defense here. And then we're going to take that risk and we're just going to rush him. Because that missile definitely went pitbull on him almost immediately off the rail. You see the splash off in front? That's an old AMRAM. And you can see on radar he's cold. So I'm actually going to turn off the radar. There we go. We can be super stealthy. I don't think he would expect me to rush him like this. Yeah, so he's cold behind this landmass here. Hopefully I can catch him. I'm gonna have to use my eyeballs. I'm gonna mark one eyeball. Because <laughs> I'm radar off at this point. I'm trying to sneak up on him. And I'm really hoping he doesn't see me and I can catch him off guard. What's this? What's this? We got him right there. Look at him. He's recommitting to the left here. We'll put him in a bore sight lock. Fox 3 at 3 miles. And that's gonna catch him out. I promise you he didn't expect that. Look at him. He's defending now. He's breaking hard. I'm gonna continue to push him. And he's dead. <laughs> That's awesome. He recommitted from behind that, you know, hill there and he was like, alright, let's recommit, find this F-22. <laughs> and he immediately exploded. <laughs> alright, there you go. Splash 1, G-35. 